I have a question from Signia. Hey, Signia. Uh, <coughs> in Jaunty, after I created a new user account and then changed the password of that new account, I have to enter the previous password to unlock the default key ring in order mm. to connect to the wireless. wireless. How can I update the password for this default key ring? I can't find any preference pane for it. Oh, so you, you've changed? Uh, have they changed their password? Changed the password of the new account. Hmm. So, but your super user password is still the, your key ring password. Key ring is different because your key ring is ask, it, it asks you the, for your key ring password the first time you run key ring. Mm. So the first time you memorize any, um, any passwords, you have the option of either just hitting enter, which makes it so that you never have to enter a password in order to uh, connect to Wi-Fi and things like that, which I think is probably the easiest for a home user. There's no point in having a, a protected key ring if it's your own personal computer because when you turn on the computer, you want it to connect to the internet. You don't want to have to enter a password. Um, so if you, uh, let's see, Agamotto seems to know what they're talking about. Use the uh, key ring set. Is that the command itself, Agamotto? But that's where, I think that's where we're getting confused a little bit because your, your user password is not the, necessarily the same as your key ring password. You may have set it that way, but because you've changed your user password, now the key ring password is still the key ring password. For me, like on my personal computers, I just don't set a key ring password because, like I say, I want it to just connect when I turn on the computer. I know the answer to that, Jagez. Uh, in accessories, passwords, and encryption keys. Uh, and then Jagez says, then choose change password. Okay, so let's, let me just show you where Jagez is directing okay, us Okay, this here. is great. Thank you, Jagez. Thank you very much. So we're going up to applications and accessories. Right. Okay, on our Ubuntu GNOME menu. And then you're going to find one called passwords and encrypted keys. Now, I'm not familiar with this app because I haven't used it, but this is where you're going to find that setting. So Jagez, uh, can you just express to us again where we want to go to change that? Okay, accessories to passwords and encryption keys. Fourth tab. Yeah, I'm in there. Fourth tab. Fourth is tab. Passwords. passwords login. Then choose change password. Okay. See, I may not have that Jagaz because see, I'm on the fourth tab here, and like I say, I don't I don't store my key rings. Right, so right, right. With password protection, so you might see something only a little differently if, there. Right. If you store your pass keys there. Cool. Uh, Magman is uh, also suggesting that you could just remove the keyring file, mm -hmm. default dot keyring, which you'll find in uh, dot gnome two. If you go into your home folder, and hit Control L, and then go to the end of that. Let's see here. Go into dot gnome two. It looks like that. Okay. So you're going to go home slash whatever your username is slash gnome two. If you go into there, that's going to give you. This is the the gnome storage folder for your settings. And the file should be found in keyrings, and then there's a file called default.keyring, if you go in there. And if you see that, if, you f if that file is there, you can delete that file, but that, on the other hand, is going to actually lose your keyring information. Am I right there, Magman? So there's a couple of options for you, but keep in mind that second option might uh, lose your passwords, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, VK7HSE suggesting don't delete it, just rename the file. Good idea. That way you've got a backup. And then the next time you log in, Magman says it will ask you for a new password. So, But I think uh, definitely try the GUI application. That's going to be a good starting place for you. Thanks, everybody, in the chat room, Magman and yeah, Jagas, especially really great. Uh, for your uh, mm -hmm. tips there. Appreciate that. Uh, Signia just saying that, well, I don't really want to change the password. I want the default key ring to match the new user password, if that makes sense. I don't think Ubuntu currently does that. Uh, that's something that uh, may eventually be implemented, but as it is, the default key ring is a separate password. So you can change it now to using that advice to a password that matches your, uh, your super user password, but then of course, uh, when you change that password again, if you ever do, you're going to have to change it manually as well. So you'll be changing it in two places. That's all. But you can make them match.